At Carnegie Mellon, we are passionate about robotics. Graduate classes challenge students to seek out problems in the field and bridge the gap of their own accord. One area that interested our team was the development of mobile robots. In robotic locomotion, the two primary modes of motion are rolling and walking. Although wheeled robots provide energy efficient and quick transportation, the terrain the robot can traverse is limited to relatively flat ground. Conversely, legged robots can traverse rough and unpredictable terrain, but yield significantly slower and less efficient locomotion on flat ground. To mediate the disparity between wheeled and legged systems, we were encouraged by this year's theme, bio-inspired robotics, to look to nature to inspire creative solutions. We drew inspiration from the Mount Lyle salamander. This four-legged reptile rolls on its body with impressive speeds. If a legged robot could effectively roll on its body, it can still have legs that are optimized for walking. This could allow the robot to take advantage of the speed and energy efficiency that comes with rolling while still being as capable of transversing rough terrain as contemporary legged robots. This ultimately leads us to our research question. How does adding the ability to roll on the robot's frame affect a quadrupedal robot's performance in locomotion? To answer this research question, we designed a robot that could perform both walking and rolling modes of locomotion with the ability to adapt to its terrain by transitioning between the two configurations. This required our design to attain the dexterity necessary to retract each leg and fold them into a stowed position for rolling. We achieved this by having each leg comprised of three servo motors oriented to mimic the hip, knee and ankle joints of their biological counterpart. From a stowed position, each motor can now be utilised to push off the ground to propel the robot forward. The combined ability to walk over rough, unpredictable terrain and roll with considerable energy conservation over flat ground gives us ILA, the Intelligent System for Locomotion Adaptation. A critical feature of Isla is her lip-shaped cross-section, which was chosen over a circular body to allow for adequate ground clearance while walking, space to stow long legs, and to bias the robot to stabilise on its top or bottom in a neutral position. The robot's symmetry, sensing and actuation grants this design the capability to walk or roll no matter which orientation it begins from, while the 12 degrees of freedom in the legs could allow her to travel almost anywhere and pick herself up from any position. To complete manufacture, simulation, control and testing of a robotic system is a unique challenge to package into one class, so we turned to the resources available to iteratively prototype our designs. We machined critical fastening components, laser cut material to create eyeless frame and 3D printed custom feet and a hardware enclosure using Farmlabs photopolymer resin. The hardware enclosure housed a 3S LiPo battery, an robotics controller and an IMU sensor. When rolling, Isla uses an IMU to determine the angular position of her body. By doing so, she is able to kick off the ground when her body rolls into a perfect position. To determine these optimal rolling gait parameters, we simulated her motion and controller in MATLAB. Using an interior point algorithm, we solved the constrained optimization problem to find the rolling gait parameters that got her the fastest roll. To generate the walking gait, the MATLAB Robotics Toolbox was selected to model the forward and inverse kinematics of Isla's legs, in this case treated as serial manipulators. By passing in the measured lengths of each link and then attaching a coordinate frame to each joint, we generated the trajectory necessary for individual legs. This allowed us to achieve a simple gait pattern, with results fed into an inverse kinematic solver to obtain motor input values. By manually tuning input parameters of the stance phase limits, flight phase limits and sampling rate, we keep three legs on the ground at all times, ensuring that the centre of mass is within the polygon of support to form a quasi-static gate. To conduct testing, energy efficiency and travel speed were compared between the walking and rolling modes. To estimate the energy usage, the motor torque and speed were recorded and timestamped, with the correlating voltage and current requirements calculated to obtain power draw and energy used. It was observed that walking locomotion used four times the electrical power input than rolling, whereas average travel speed was an order of magnitude greater for rolling locomotion than it was for walking. 
deriving cost of transportation for each configuration, showed our walking to perform marginally worse than documented bipedal robots. However, rolling displayed an impressively low cost of transport, with locomotion performance in range with that of dogs and small animals. The capacity for Isla to incorporate a suite of sensors gives her a wide range of potential applications, and given time to advance our material selection, modelling and control, future work could greatly improve her ability in both walking and rolling modes.